The money in Gran Turismo 7 is not easy to earn, but what if you can earn money in an easy way and still have some fun while driving? So Tichny covered the video where he explained the best and the fastest way to get credits in game and you can check it out in the link down in the description. So I will post the link down below so you can check it out if you're looking for like the fastest ways of getting money but i had a different idea in mind and i wanted some actual racing over those races so his ways are simple but i find it a bit boring doing the circuit over and over and over again so i decided to share my top three picks for the fastest credits so guys hello to my channel by the way and yeah if you really like this video I would appreciate it if you hit that like button and maybe even subscribe in to the channel. So if you're new to the game and you're not being really able to make money, you know, just modify the cars and, you know, get through the game. Although the game offers microtransactions, I'm not going to be talking too much about it, but they will cost you a fortune. So here are we breaking the top three ways, at least my top three, my top three ways that are really easy and still I would kind of want to make some money for car modifications while still racing and still kind of experiencing the whole game rather than just going in circles and you know spending your time just thinking about credits so you still have to learn a bit if you're doing this so also i find it that these challenges some of them are a bit too difficult so you can go to the menu you can always do this you can always go down to the menu and change the difficulty to make your life a lot easier so some of the tracks that I'll mention in the video are not really difficult, but one is actually quite difficult. I was struggling with the hardest setting. So you can change it whatever you like. You can go back and forth. You can pretty much modify whatever you like here. So yeah, uh, it, by the way, it doesn't really affect the prize money in the end. So it doesn't matter which way you go. Is it easy or medium or hard? It doesn't matter. The prices stay the same. Okay, let's start with this one. So Colorado Springs Lake, their championship, around 600,000 credits per hour if you race clean. So this is my biggest number, 600,000 credits per hour. But the best part is that it's the most crediting event and it's not even highlighted as a main event in the game. So it doesn't make much sense, but there it is. So sometimes the best parts are not highlighted. So you keep on focusing on the visible reward stages and do not really pay attention to these kind of hidden treasures, if you want to call it like that. So just like that, this hidden treasure can be found by winning Colorado Springs Lake Rally Circuit, which is, of course, a fictional track. This thing might sound a bit too weird, but it's one of the best ways to earn a lot of credits in the shortest amount of time. Six minutes for 60,000 credits. It's a free lap race. Therefore, the prize pool is only 60,000 credits for the winner if you race clean so the race clean bonus adds 50 percent on the price if you race clean and that means that you don't hit the cars around you and it's actually better to stay clean so you get you know more out of your time if you can deal with the motion sickness caused by this car tilting over the jumps and everything that's going around you you can finish this one under five minutes but i also added the loading times for each event so that makes it about six minutes per race so just calculating all of the loading times and everything so that works out to about 10,000 credits per minute of racing and 600,000 credits per hour if you're quick enough you can you know proceed through the menus by you know just by clicking the x button and not spending too much time on the loading screen next off is lago majora gt cup so group free 450,000 credits per hour so for those of you who are not a fan of like tackling the rally stages this is the one for you so the high speed circuit can be found but it's it's kind of complicated but not complicated at all if you know how to drive it if you have the right car of course i'm going to share my setup i shared my setup with you and i'm using the audi r8 so the setup really means a lot so just try to use it and it's gonna you know it's gonna be much much easier to do this one uh, with the setup so the race is for group three cars the location of this one is lago maggiore which is of course a fictional track in italy and yeah it's a fictional one as i said before like a lot of them in gran turismo 7 so 50,000 credits which climb up to 75,000 credits when, of course, you add up a clean race bonus. So if you race clean, you get more money. So 50% more is added onto those 50,000 credits. However, a five lap race, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but the race time is roughly about 10 minutes or about, I would say 
under you can probably do it under 10 minutes but with the loading times and everything else i think 10 minutes or ele even 11 minutes if you're like running on playstation 4 so this still equates to about solid i would say a very very solid seven i would say seven and a half thousand credits per minute which is pretty good and yeah the real reason why i picked this circuit is that it really teaches you how to race so it really teaches you the racecraft and everything else it's not just driving around in circles but you you really get something out of it so you you kind of experience the whole you know the whole racecraft and everything else so the gran turismo should be in my you know my perception of all of this should be racing and having diversity and of course having fun and you know even after all gathering some experience and that should always be a priority over those like you know going in circles and going all around the circles over and over and over again just to get credits so i know there is a way you know that's a way of how to get credits but you know you're just putting this track out there you know including this one with Tichini's video i think it's going to make a lot of a lot of sense if you just you know break up the ovals once <laughs> so yeah uh, for this one you know find the car that you like i shared my r8 setup so it's the r8 lms 2019 and yeah add some good parts to it you can just add a turbo or something move it up to 730 power points we can kind of mess with the power points a bit but you know this this car if you put in some good quality parts to it it's gonna you're, you're gonna benefit from it so even working on a setup can prepare you for future online daily races so it's not just about the the single player and getting credits it's actually about preparing the car for the dailies and the multiplayer if you eventually want to end up there so I believe this is a good option you know it's a good option for you know experiencing the track experience the game and you know even in the end getting some credits and while still enjoying the race and the last one that i included in this one so it's daytona tri oval world challenge so it's 450 000 credits per hour so rally and you know tracks are not a you know they're kind of not good for you. So I picked this one. It's kind of easy. It's very, very easy. The easiest one you can do. Physics are really not a factor here, but there are some limitations here. So you need to, you need, to, you need a truck and you need to modify the truck just to make it a little bit quicker. So it goes, you know, faster in the straight line. And I'm getting a Raptor, a Ford Raptor for this one. You can even get the other car. It doesn't really matter which one you go, but I added a couple of hundred horsepower. So it can, you know, this, this track and this all of this becomes very very easy to do it's it kind of gives you a solid amount of credits which is around 45,000 credits with a clean race bonus so with that with the added 50% in so as long as you're able to keep this clean you will do it under six minutes and you will probably get around a 45,000 credits which adds up to about solid 7,500 credits per minute so this is by far the easiest option for me among the three that I chose. But I think it's a little bit boring go, going around in circles all over and over and over again. But if you're really looking for some fast credits, I think this is the way to go. There are some options that I didn't include in this one. You can, as I said before, you can have a look at Tijni's video. He added a couple of other options. But I think this really brings diversity into this whole aspect. So next time you're playing GT7, keep in mind that these tips and these, I would say, tricky circuits mentioned in the video are here just, you know, so you can enjoy the race. So you can actually get some credits while still enjoying the races and still having some fun. So you can win some good credits. You still want to have some fun. This is the way to go. So I'll be working on creating more of this content in the game. So I will focus on getting, you know, more content and getting better content out there. So I really hope that we are going to get some more ways of getting credits in this game. But yeah, after all, it's, uh, you know, it should be fun. It should be playable. And I think Gran Turismo should keep in this direction. Microtransactions, kind of not like them, but they are here for the ones that, you know, want to get them so you know i'm not i'm not really against that so guys if you like this video please smash that like button and you can even subscribe to the channel if you like and yeah until the next time bye and yeah have fun